What's the deal with airplane peanuts? YouTube specials have completely changed the comedy game over the past few years, with many comics using the platform as their only outlet to independently share and promote their work. Shane Gillis, Andrew Schultz, Mark Norman, Ari Shafir, the Joe list goes on and on of great comedians who have blown up their careers by putting out killer YouTube specials, but it looks as if this brand new system might already be in trouble. Last night, a very popular comedian had his latest special lit up with YouTube restrictions after debuting the new hour on his channel less than two months ago, which had a lot of comedy fans wondering, is YouTube still even the best place to be? The special titled Matthew Stephen Reif debuted on February 14th, but was only up for 48 days before being deleted from YouTube April 1st. A lot of people in the comedy world were surprised and confused as to why the special was removed. In this clip, listen to how Matt Reif describes his experience with YouTube versus how Chris Stefano talks about working with Netflix. We got hit with a bunch of restrictions one of which being an age restriction that would require all viewers to be not only proven that they're over 18, but they'd have to have a registered official YouTube account to be able to access it, which is insane, considering most people do not have a YouTube account that defeats the entire purpose of YouTube being such a shareable website. And we also got hit with a music, a music restriction for the song I paid thousands of dollars for the rights for, um, but they did not accept the um, confirmation, I guess, if you want to call it. So it's completely dead in the YouTube algorithm, which means strangers will never find it. Uh, you guys can't watch it unless you have an account, so I have to delete it. Incredibly frustrated, and I'm very, very sorry. So for the few of you who got to watch it, I hope you liked it. I'll figure it out. I looked straight into the camera. I said, I'm going to kill myself. <laughs> no, I, I swear didn't. to God. No, you didn't. I swear to God. I, I swear to God. That in? I, Did uh, the crowd God, go nuts? The crowd said nothing. When you said, I'm going to kill myself. I said at the end, I said, I'm going to kill myself. And that completely, <laughs> I swear to God. Who is off in Pete the wings? Lee, Pete Lee was the warm-up comic. Yeah. You know Pete Lee. Yeah, great of course, guy. yeah. Dying laughing in the hallway back. He goes, I can't believe you said that. He goes, if Netflix has any balls, they'll keep that in. I said, well, they do have balls because in my special, Special Weshi, at the end of the Netflix, I say, I'm putting this whole thing on YouTube everybody but if netflix wants to buy it i'll sell it here yeah. and they let me keep that in the special that's cool now obviously not every single comedian even has netflix as an option for their special but when thinking about the future of comedy it's very interesting to see that there's potentially more freedom in the corporate route than in the independent one matt rife's youtube channel has over 400,000 subs on just 31 videos and his previous special received over 4 million views so it's definitely not like nobody was going to see this new one it's totally possible that this matt rife special could have been comparable in views to some of the best on this platform and now it's just gone. This has to be the worst feeling ever. Getting restricted by YouTube on a video that you worked so hard on is already so frustrating and helpless feeling, but I could not even imagine how shitty it must feel for Matt Reif to get his hired process of spending big money to film and produce an independent special, pouring countless hours into editing and promotion, and just feeling reliable to your fans after hyping up a release date, and now for bullshit reasons completely out of your control, that's all gone. And even if he does figure out the music thing or bleep out some cuss words or whatever YouTube is looking for to keep their precious safe viewers away from Matt Reif's verbal terrorism, it's just not going to be the same. The whole process of releasing a new special creates excitement for the fans and there's buzz around that comic leading up to the premiere. It's not like some random YouTube video that you can delete and re-upload a few days later and no one will care. This is a whole year's worth of work just down the drain for reasons I don't think any of us understand, including the people at YouTube. Like just watch any popular rap music video on this platform that YouTube has no problem Problem with, then please tell me why Matt Rife's special requires any restrictions. I don't know about you guys, but when I click on a YouTube video that I don't like, I just stop watching it. Never once have I thought to myself, well, gosh darn it, YouTube better do something about this before someone else gets hurt by all these jokes. Fucking pussies. The roast of Burt Kreischer took place on Saturday, April 1st on OnlyFans TV. At first when I heard this was going to be on OnlyFans and produced by Whitney Cummings, I honestly thought this was just some big cash grab to get us all subscribed to Whitney's OnlyFans. But what a pleasant surprise it was to find out the entire hour-long roast is actually free to watch. The comics on the panel roasting Burt include Tom Segura, Tony Hinchcliffe, Donnell Rawlings, Big J Okerson, Jim Norton, Rachel Feinstein, Whitney Cummings, and Trevor Wallace was the host. Whether you're a fan or a hater of Burt Kreischer, I guarantee there's something in this roast that you will find funny. For the diehard Burt fans, there's plenty of hilarious references to inside jokes throughout his career. And for those who find Burt's stick annoying, there's even more jokes about that. Burt, you also have one of my favorite jokes, and you guys have probably heard it in every one of his specials. <laughs> it starts with, take off his shirt, blah, blah, blah. Some situation comes up that Isla's in, and then Isla says, and I quote, <laughs>
Dot, 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 something you made up that Isla said. The set design was great, the editing was top notch, overall it seemed like a ton of work and turned out to be a very big event and successful roast that had a lot of money behind it. Which is ironic because just 10 days before this came out, the flagrant crew was able to completely destroy Bert's entire existence with only a few balloons. Right, right. And says, oh, what the f <laughs> 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 Finally. Who loves you so much. <laughs> <laughs> Can we leave one balloon? Give me the beer. Give me the beer. Give, give me the beer. No, 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 no. no. Okay. Okay. You gotta drink more beer. Let's chug. Let's chug. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah we get another, chug this. Get him another. They're really gonna pop. Let's no, chug. they really are because they're really lights. They're really lights. <laughs> but it's okay. You're safe now. You're safe I'm now. I'm never safe. We Round two of this year's comedy podcast March Madness tournament is currently underway over at WatchComedy.Live. This is the second year in a row that we've done this tournament. But what's really great to see is this time we actually have some podcasts like We Might Be Drunk and Chrissy Chaos getting involved and urging their audiences to help them win this thing, which is super cool. You can go vote on the funniest clips right now and help your favorite podcast win maybe the most prestigious award in all of entertainment. The Joke World Comedy Podcast March Madness Tournament presented by WatchComedy.Live Champion. We, uh, we definitely need a shorter name for that. Guest spots from last week. Your mom's house did not have a guest. Two Bears, One Cave was Bert and Tom, Tom and Bert. Kill Tony this week was with the young bull, Shane Gillis. Whiskey Ginger had on Rick Glassman. Russell Shorto was on Christy Chaos. Sam Talent was on Matt and Shane's Secret Podcast. And Tim Dillon was on Fitz Dog Radio. I'm sitting in, in the, the studios of the Tim Dillon Show interviewing Tim Dillon, which uh, I think might be my new thing. Maybe I go to other people's podcasts and I interview them and uh, do it on their set and ask the questions that there may be, may, maybe they're the questions that the, your listeners would want to hear. Yeah, you turn the tables. Turn the tables. I like it. That's what it's called. I like it. Turn the tables with Greg Fitzsimmons. Yeah, and, <laughs> and it, it builds until finally I'm sitting there with Fallon. Yeah. <laughs> and I'm saying, why are you, why are you still moving forward? What's yeah. the momentum? Yeah. What's carrying you? <laughs> yeah, what drives you? <laughs> This past weekend with Theo Vaughn had on Nate Bargatze and Mike Vecchione. The Joe Rogan Experience talked with smart people this week, no comedians. Burt Kreischer was on Take Your Shoes Off. He was also on Stavi's World. Sam Morell was on The Blocks Podcast. Sam Jay was on We Might Be Drunk. Adam Rowe was on Are You Garbage? And Mike Vecchione was on You Know What Dude. As far as new stand-up specials go, Big J Ogerson and Ryan Sickler both have specials coming out Wednesday, April 5th. Those will be on YouTube. Louis C.K. has his newest special out right now on his website, available for just $10. And John Mulaney, Baby J, is coming to Netflix on April 25th. We also have Matt Reif's latest special being pulled off YouTube to be re-uploaded, I assume, sometime later this week. In all 45 episodes of the Joke World Comedy News, I don't think we've ever had an update on one less special to watch. Historic stuff today, folks. Make sure to go vote on your favorite podcast clip to advance in our March Madness bracket. There's a chance we can start doing more of these moving forward, maybe with the best of the month clips if you guys like the voting thing. I don't know. I'm just trying to create more ways for you to interact with your favorite podcast and your favorite comedians besides just watching the videos and subscribing to their channels. Oh, speaking of subscribing to YouTube channels, please touch my button through the fence.